what's all that about? We stopped the developers, didn't we? I thought the go upstairs as it is. Yeah, we did. The go downstairs as it is. But they're still selling off the lodge. Well, sh hold on. I don't get it. The trees, the grounds, the bats, they're all safe, but the lodge still goes. We were only renting it, and it is a desirable property, so they want to sell it. It's probably worth a bundle. Well, they can't do that, can they? What about you want to kill me? The council owns it, and there ain't no bats living there, so I guess we've got to move. This could become a place of major historical significance, like Hadrian's Wall. It could become a World Heritage Site. My den, a World Heritage Site? I can just see it. Centuries from now, they'll run to us. Visit the site of the Battle of the Gold Woods, where the warrior they called Stumpy fought so valiantly to save his den. Hey, what's he doing? Get lost. This is mine. I think you'll find that this is Stumpy's secret den. Yeah, everyone knows that. <laughs> Wasn't much of a den when I found it. Only because those blokes on the council trashed it. It's still Stumpy's property. Well, it's mine now. I'm claiming squatters' rights. Are you hanging round here again? Aren't you a little bit too old to be waving at Daddy on the choo-choos? Very funny. Oh, and who's this, your boyfriend? Dad, leave us alone. Where are you off to, anyway? Or is that me being too much of a nosy old dad? There's this youth club nearby, Biker Grove. Do you know it? Aye, well, I know where it is. I'm just on my way to check it out, if you must know. Hmm, and that's where this lad goes, is it? Mm, must be serious. Shut up. Look, I'll see you later. Well, just be careful, Kate, all right? I will, don't worry. Oh, Kate? What? It must be love, love, love. Uh -uh. Get off my land! Your land! Look, Mickey, there's a few things you don't seem to understand. The first, this is Stumpy's den. What is Stumpy's den? And now it's all mine! Surely you're not gonna let him get away with this. Maybe I'm getting a bit too old to be messing around in a den. Oh, Belter! What? But, Stumpy, you fought for this den? You can't just give it to him. How's about if we say it's still my den? But Mickey can occupy it as a sitting tenant. Look after it and that. You're not going to charge rent, are you? Nah. But could I? For old times' sake. Have I? So, if you uh, decided what you're going to do then? Not yet. I've spoken to Leanne's parents. They were unhappy to say the least. Who's coming in for a chat? Well, any minute now. Look, Achille, I'm really sorry about all this, man. And so was Cher. I was hoping to keep a lid on this. I don't think they were doing anything. I think we got there just in time. I hope you're right. Hi, Achille. Hi, Lou. Thanks for coming in. Lou? Right, I'll just, um, check on the kids in the general room. Yes, one bat. I'm going to miss this place. We've had some good times here, but I think it's time to move on. Right. Angeli. Very interesting. Healy. Six pack. Sarah Young. Dislikes geeks. Well, I'm okay there. Sorry, Eve. I wish you could have done more. It's all right. Got used to the idea of moving. Looked at a few places close by. A couple of them are really nice. Plus, I get to decorate my own room. It's still a pain in the bum, though, isn't it? You really like living at the lodge? I know, but it's not the same now. Not if Mum got a pool away studying. Are you having a party? What for? A housewoman party? It's tradition. Great idea. Can we come? Hold on. I'm not going to make excuses for them. I know they've been stupid, but I don't think they meant any harm. They're not bad kids. And Adam's had a tough time of it recently, since his accident. And Angeli, well, it's not that long ago since our mum and dad died. I'm aware of that, and I understand. But I can't let them back without some kind of punishment. What kind of example would that set to the other kids? They have to learn to face the consequences of their actions. Oh, I don't want them to go unpunished. And I've got something in mind that might just do the job. We'll let you out then, eventually. And we're all up a lot with him in room. I was 21. The killie talked me out of it. I wonder what he's going to do. Well, it'll be the same as usual. Don't do it again, you naughty boys and girls! Grow up, Adam. We could all be for the high jump, thanks to you. We'll be lucky if he ever allows us back. He wouldn't do that, would he? 
Blue, is it all right? What did he say? He wants to have a word with you all. Come on. He's waiting for you in the office. Dad, you know we're moving. Not now, Eve. This meeting's important. Sorry, it's just, well, when we move into the new flat. What about it? Can we have a party? You know, a flat woman. It's tradition. Whoa. We haven't even found someone yet. Haven't you done it yet? Look, narrow it down to three. Evie, you don't need to do all of this. Dad, I'm 13. I'm not a little kid anymore. The council are going to sell off the lodge. We need to get a move on. There's too much to sort out. We need to get organised. Come on. The council are not going to throw us out into the street. I'll take a look when I get a chance. Now go. <laughs> Can we enter in all girls' do? I don't see why not. Excellent. You'll play, won't you, Hayley? Yep. That's not fair. Why not? Well, it's sexist. What's wrong with being sexy? <sighs> Sex is. Well, you wouldn't be saying that if it was for boys only. Well, it's a boys' game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't it a rounders tournament you can enter instead? All right. See who can speak the most rubbish competition. All right. That's enough. There's a boys and girls competition. You can both enter. But our team does better than yours. What? With Jamie and Stumpy? We're really worried. <laughs> We'd beat you any day, man. Prove it then. Put your money where your big mouth is. How? A match. Boys versus girls. Seems we won't be playing each other in a tournament. Let's have it here on our pitch. <laughs> You're on. So, it's the Biker Bells versus the Grover Rovers. I, uh, hope you lads know what you're letting yourself in for. Don't think these ladies are the type to be messed with. Whose team am I on? <sighs> Dom and Cher needed to be sure you were safely in your own tents. What if you'd wandered off and had an accident? We'd be responsible. Yeah, but we didn't. That's not the point, Adam. There are all sorts of rumours going around about what happened that night. I've had to think long and hard about whether to let you back here at all. The younger kids look up to you a lot. What kind of example are you setting? Swapping tents, drinking or whatever. We're really sorry, Kelly. You'd better be. I don't want to lose you. Therefore, you can come back. But, I've spoken to Lou and Leanne's parents, and we've decided that the incident can't go unpunished. So Lou and I have thought of a nice little job for you. You're right there. Think about joining. I'm not sure. It's not just for skateboarders. Rollerblades are welcome as well if that's what you're into. No, I'm, I'm more of a football girl. I should have guessed the uh, scarf kind of gives it away a little. Mm -hmm. Well, you've come to the right place because it's starting off an all girls team. Oh, I don't play. I just watch. All right, never mind. We're still always looking for new members. I'm Dom, by the way. One of the youth leaders here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm Kate. Great. I'll show you around if you want. Don't you worry about them, they don't bite. And if they do, you bite them back, all right? Come on. Right, listen. Quiet, please. Thank you. Right, has everyone got a questionnaire? And what's the point of this? Well, if you look at it, then you'll see a series of questions which are... Boring. Which are designed to give us an idea of the type of activities you'd like to do here at the Burn. Have you got any ideas of his own? Pathetic. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. That's enough. Right, so if you could fill in the questionnaires and hand them back to me, Tina, or Jill as soon as possible. Well, we're not doing this. Come on, Craig, this is to help you. All of you? We're doing one to help Grover. I can't believe he's making us clean out the box. Could have been worse, Luke. Come on, the sooner we start. Yeah, yeah, I know. So are you all right? Haven't seen you for a few days. Yeah, I'm fine. Does it have any bigger gloves? 
Do you fancy doing something after this? Um, I don't know. I just thought we could, you know, have a chat. About what? What do you think? The weather! Oh, look, I've got to get on with this. I'll see you later. What about this lot? We could give them a try, I suppose. Excuse me! Oh, you lot! Do you want to be on our team or what? Yoink! Oh, hold on, man, give this! <laughs> Hi, nice Ella. And finally reception. This is where you'd come in. Well, usually. This is the team, is it? So far. This is Kate. She's uh, thinking about joining the Grove. Bit of a soccer fan, as it happens, aren't you? Great. You can join the team then. I've never played on an actual team before. Well, do you know how long a normal game of football lasts? 90 minutes. Everyone knows that. It's more than Hayley knew, and she's in it. You want a team? Great, off you go. Regina, nice to meet you. Have we played anywhere football? Football? Me? I think you might have the wrong twin, lads. And the right one doesn't even play anymore. Which technically makes him the wrong twin. <laughs> how am I? Just join the team. We need some big lads. Afraid the girls will give you a run for your money, are you lads? That lot, no chance. Ooh, dangerous words. I think me and Leanne will have to turn out for the girls. Then you'll be in trouble. Please, Luke, we need your help. We're desperate. Is that supposed to be a compliment, is it? I'm not very good, mind. But can on then. Seeing as how Angelie's playing for the girls. Yes! Tactics. Well, none of us know any. What we need is a coach. Yeah, but who? Dom, how do you fancy coaching the girls' team? Hey, I've always fancied myself as a bit of a football manager. More like he's always fancied himself. Are you any good, though? I mean, like, tactics. The offside trap. Yeah, sounds great. What is it? This is hopeless. We need someone who really knows their stuff. Is there a lad called Adam Brett comes here? Yeah? How do you know him? We've known each other for ages. We go way back. I used to see him quite a lot when he played for the academy. Doesn't play football anymore. Hurt his back skateboarding. Yeah, which means he won't be playing for the boys team. Which means he's available. Got it in one. Come on, there must be something you just want to do. How about taxidermy? We're going to have you stuffed. That's a suggestion. What about the rest of you? Well, I was hoping for something a little bit more constructive, but... What do you mean? Amazing feat of engineering, that is. Oh, I think we've upset him. Look, he's bubbling. <laughs> Do you think it's something I've done? I don't know. He's a lad, isn't he? He knows what Adam's thinking. But he won't even talk about it. Well, that's lads for you. Not very good at talking about the feelings. If it hasn't got four wheels or involves a league table, they're not interested. Speaking of which, put our names down to the girls' football team. We're playing against the lads in a couple of weeks. I just wish I knew where I was with Adam. Hang on a minute. What football team? I didn't think you'd mind. We better go and find Adam then. Before the boys get there. I'll catch us up. I need to find him. All right then. See you there, Kate. Nice meeting you. Hi. Name? Kate Best. Can I just say, that's a lovely name. Whatever. Uh, phone number. Do it, it's on there. Hobbies? You mean apart from beating up annoying lads who ask stupid questions? Eh? Freak. Hello? Angeline? No, Petra's not in yet. A bag? 
No, it can't be hers. She, she would have said something. Are you sure you've got the right girl? Yes, that's her. Where did you say it was found? Outside Casey's bar. Right. Oh, yes. I'll come over and collect it for her. Little madam. I thought he really liked us. Said I was special. That old chestnut. That's what they all say, Leon. But I was sure he meant it. At the time, anyway. Has he said anything to you? Why would he say anything to me? Well, you do live with him. Why don't you go like this, brother? So then. Adam was great the first time I did it. He never made us feel, you know, stupid. Like I didn't know what I was doing. He's really nice. So how many keep you up can you do now, after Adam taught you how to do it? About 20, but I need to keep practicing. He's a really good teacher. So go on, how would you rate Adam? Marks out of 10? 10 out of 10? Definitely. Maybe she was talking about a different Adam. The two-timing rat. Brilliant. Can we enter a bit? Yeah, of course. We can put a team together. What about us? I think girls won. Just sign up here, yeah? I think you're pretty clever, don't you? You don't fancy a game then, Craig? It's your loss. Don't push a corner. Why didn't you mention losing, please? And a phone? Hello? You have one new message. Sorry, it's Luke. Look, we got chucked out of the bar. I don't got no phone those lads. I can't get back in. So just get home as soon as you can before Luke realizes something's up. I'm going to throttle them. Right, that's the main team sorted. We're still going to need a sub in case any injuries. Can I be a sub? I'm not really that good at football. <laughs> you do surprise me. I know he doesn't play anymore, but why don't we ask Adam if he can be our coach? Good idea. He knows more about football than any of us. Nah, he's a bit touchy about his football since his accident. Well, here he comes now. There's no harm in asking. Hi Adam! Kate! What are you doing here? Just signed up for the football team. Adam, can I ask you something? So you don't know her then? You scumbag! No, uh, I mean yes, well, so You lying, cheating rat! Do you bring all your lasses here, you then? Adam, calm down. Who do you think you are talking at him like that? Adam. Who do I think I am? Adam. I'm his girlfriend. Who the hell are you? Me and Adam have known each other for ages, actually. I used to go and watch him play for Adam, the academy. Will you coach the lads for the football team? Oh, look, we're not now. I'll talk to you later. He can't coach you. He's coaching us. Are you really going out with her? He's coaching the girls? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, yes, I don't know. That's the way, Adam. Treat me and Kim Keen, eh? Shut up, you lot. Oh, get it. He is coaching us, aren't you, Adam? I can't believe you betrayed the lads. That's just it, isn't it? All the lads together, acting the big man, pulling birds, drinking. Do you think you're big and clever? You're pathetic. Leave him alone. He hasn't done anything wrong. And that's for you. Man, stop it. Please. And this is your idea of keeping a lid on things, is it? Adam, Leanne, my office. Now. Come on, Craig. What is your problem? You. Look, let's be straight with one another. I'm not a Grover anymore. I actually got kicked out with it. I'm meant to be impressed. Look, I'm a youth leader now. It's not about sides anymore. So let's just move on and forget about what's happened in the past, yeah? Listen, pal, you got my mate banged up again. Steve's in jail thanks to you and that Matt. He can't move on. Is that straight enough for you? Oh, I'm embarrassing when you get to my dad. I'll be there in a minute. So I'll see you at practice tomorrow then? Yeah, I'll see you later. What is going on with Adam and Leanne? Search me. I'm not sure I should be talking to you, actually. Why not? The footy match, boys against girls. We're rivals now. You're not going to go all competitive on us, are you? Just on the pitch. 
Have you heard anything about your bag? Nope. I'm just going to have to forget about it, I guess. Well, what about the photos of your mum and dad? Maybe we should tell them? Don't be soft, Luke. She'll go mad. Alright. What happened to your photo? It's alright. Leave it. Come on, kid. What's going on? It's nothing, really. Some skateboarders tried to run me over. I've got a stalker called Stumpy. Oh, and some ginger lass had a pop at me. But other than that... So you're not going back then? Of course I am. I'm on the football team. I said he could come back, providing there was no more trouble, and I meant it. Two hours later, I find you shouting and bawling in front of the whole club. Well, I'm putting a stop to this right now. Look, Achille, I'm sorry. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, understand this. You're both barred for a week. Now get out! Dad, I've got a chance to think about a flat woman. What? The party. We were talking about it earlier. Look, sorry, Eve, it's going to have to be a no. But Dad... No! Said Adam came to live with me. The new says... Watch it! Leanne, wait! I'd better go after her. I'll see you in a bit. You've really done it now. And what was Kate doing here? Oh, didn't you start? <sighs> Look, you don't know the full story. It's not fair. All the lads cheering him on like he's some sort of hero. I'm the one they're going to be calling a slapper. No one's saying that. I'm thinking it though. Let them think what they like. Who cares? You haven't done anything wrong. You haven't... You and Adam were just snogging, weren't you? Leanne? Oh no. Come here. What's going on between you and Leanne? She's in a right state. Luke, just leave it. No, just leave it. I might not be a boyfriend anymore, but I still care about what happens to her. Luke, I'm sorry. What for? What's happened between you two? I don't know. You know what girls are like. They always want to talk things through. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? Do you feel any different? You mean you and Leah? The night of the camp. When Dom caught us, he didn't realise, but... I did it. I'm sorry. Lou, what are you doing back here? Do you recognise these? Are they Angie's photos? Great! Where did you... You lot have got some explaining to do. You're all grounded. Let's talk about my love life. I'm bored. What do you suggest I do? All right, lads. It was lucky hours here, wasn't it? You call that Kelly Jones? It sounded more like Vinnie Jones. You oh. idiot. A quick fumble and that's it. That's disgusting. I'm not sulking. Tell us. Do I have to tell you everything? You alright, lads? Shut up! <laughs> Little job for you. You alright there? Think about joining? Um, I'm not sure. It's not just for skateboarding. Rollerblades are welcome as well if that's what you're into. No, I'm, I'm more of a football girl. I should have guessed the uh, scarf kind of gives it away a little. Mm -hmm. Well, you've come to the right place because it's starting off an all-girls team. Oh, I don't play. I just watch. Alright, never mind. Uh, we're still always looking for new members. I'm Dom, by the way. One of the youth leaders here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm Kate. Great, I'll show you around if you want. Don't you worry about them, they don't bite. And if they do, you bite them back, all right? Come on. Right, listen. Quiet, please. Thank you. 
Right, has everyone got a question here? What's the point of this? Well, if you look at it, then you'll see a series of questions which are... Boring. <laughs> ...which are designed to give us an idea of the type of activities you'd like to do here at the Burn. Has he got any ideas of his own? Pathetic. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. That's enough. Right, so if you could fill in the questionnaires and hand them back to me, Tina or Jill as soon as possible. Well, we're not doing this. Come on, Craig, this is to help you. All of you. We're doing one to help Grover. The council are not going to throw us out into the street. I'll take a look when I get a chance. Now go. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Can we enter an old girl's team? I don't see why not. Excellent. You'll play, won't you, Hayley? Yep. That's not fair. Why not? Well, it's sexist. What's wrong with being sexy? <sighs> Sex is. Well, you wouldn't be saying that if it was for boys only. Well, it's a boys game, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it a rounders tournament you can enter instead? All right, see who can speak the most rubbish competition. All right, that's enough. There's a boys and girls competition. You can both enter. <laughs> but our team does better than yours. What? With Jamie and Stumpy? We're really worried. <laughs> We'd beat you any day, man. Prove it then. Put your money where your big mouth is. How? A match. Boys versus girls. Seems we won't be playing each other in a tournament. Let's have it here on our pitch. <laughs> You're on. So, it's the Biker Bells versus the Grover Rovers. I, uh, hope you lads know what you're letting yourself in for. Don't think these ladies are the type to be messed with. Whose team am I on? <sighs> Dom and Cher needed to be sure you were safely in your own tents. What if you'd wandered off and had an accident? We'd be responsible. Yeah, but we didn't. That's not the point, Adam. There are all sorts of rumours going around about what happened that night. I've had to think long and hard about whether to let you back here at all. The younger kids look up to you a lot. What kind of example are you setting? Swapping tents, drinking or whatever. We're really sorry, Kelly. You'd better be. I don't want to lose you. Therefore, you can come back. But, I've spoken to Lou and Leanne's parents and we've decided that the incident can't go unpunished. So Lou and I have thought of a nice... Life. I wish you could have done more. It's all right. Got used to the idea of moving. Looked at a few places close by. A couple of them are really nice. Plus I get to decorate my own room. It's still a pain in the bum though, isn't it? You really like living at the lodge? I know, but it's not the same now. Not if Mum got a pool away studying. Are you having a party? What for? A housewoman party? It's tradition? Great idea. Can we come? Hold on. I'm not going to make excuses for them. I know they've been stupid, but I don't think they meant any harm. They're not bad kids. And Adam's had a tough time of it recently, since his accident. And Angelie, well, it's not that long ago since our mum and dad died. I'm aware of that, and I understand. But I can't let them back without some kind of punishment. What kind of example would that set to the other kids? They have to learn to face the consequences of their actions. Oh, I don't want them to go unpunished. And I've got something in mind that might just do the job. We let you out then, eventually. And we're all up a lot in the semi room. I was 21. The killy talked me out of it. I wonder what he's going to do. Well, it'll be the same as usual. Don't do it again, you naughty boys and girls. Grow up, Adam. We could all be for the high jump, thanks to you. We'll be lucky if he ever allows us back. He wouldn't do that, would he? Lou, is it all right? What did he say? He wants to have a word with you all. Come on. He's waiting for you in the office. Dad, you know we're moving. Not now, Eve. This meeting's important. Sorry, it's just, well, when we're moving to the new flat. And what about it? Can we have a party? You know, a flat woman. It's tradition. Whoa. Well, we haven't even found someone yet. Haven't you done it yet? Look, I've narrowed it down to three. Evie, you don't need to do all of this. Dad, I'm 13. I'm not a little kid anymore. The council are going to sell off the lodge. We need to get a move on. There's too much to sort out. We need to get organised. Come on. What's all that about? We stopped the developers, didn't we? I thought the growth stays as it is. Yeah, we did. The growth does stay as it is. But they're still selling off the lodge. Well, sh hold on. I don't get it. 
The trees, the grounds, the bats, they're all safe, but the lodge still goes. We were only renting it, and it is a desirable property, so they want to sell it. It's probably worth a bundle. What? They can't do that, can they? What about you want to kill me? The council owns it, and there ain't no bats living there, so I guess we've got to move. This could become a place of major historical significance. Like Hadrian's Wall, it could become a World Heritage Site. My den, a World Heritage Site? I can just see it. Centuries from now, they'll run to us. Visit the site of the Battle of the Grove Woods. Where the warrior they called Stumpy fought so valiantly to save his den. Hey, what's he doing? Get lost. This is mine. I think you'll find that this is Stumpy's secret den. Yeah, everyone knows that. <laughs> Wasn't much of a den when I found it. Only because those blokes on the council trashed it. It's still Stumpy's property. Well, it's mine now. I'm claiming squatters' rights. Are you hanging round here again? Aren't you a little bit too old to be waving at Daddy on the choo-choos? Hey, funny. Oh, and who's this? Your boyfriend? Dad, leave us alone. Way off to anyway. Or is that me being too much of a nosy old dad? There's this youth club nearby, Biker Grove. Do you know it? Aye, well, I know where it is. I'm just on my way to check it out, if you must know. Mm, and that's where this lad goes, is it? Mm, must be serious. Shut up. Look, I'll see you later. Well, just be careful, Kate, all right? I will, don't worry. Oh, Kate? What? It must be love, love, love. Uh -uh. Girls, my land! Your land! Look, Mickey, there's a few things you don't seem to understand. The first, this is Stumpy's den. What is Stumpy's den? And now it's all mine! Surely you're not going to let him get away with this. Maybe I'm getting a bit too old to be messing around in a den. Oh, Belter! What? But, Stumpy, you fought for this den? You can't just give it to him. How's about if we say it's still my den? But Mickey can occupy it as a sitting tenant. Look after it and that. You're not going to charge rent, are you? Nah. But could I? For old times' sake. So, have you uh, decided what you're going to do then? Not yet. I've spoken to Leanne's parents. They were unhappy to say the least. Who's coming in for a chat? Well, any minute now. Look, Achille. I'm really sorry about all this, man. And so was Cher. I was hoping to keep a lid on this. I don't think they were doing anything. I think we got there just in time. I hope you're right. Hi, Achille. Hi, Lou. Thanks for coming. Lou? Right, I'll just um, check on the kids in the general room. Yes, one bat. I'm going to miss this place. We've had some good times here, but I think it's time to move on. Right. Angeli. Very interesting. Healy. Six pack. Sarah Young. Dislikes geeks. Well, I'm okay there. Sorry, Eve. 